Okay, let's go. What day is it? It's Woke Wednesday. Let's get to whatever Woke Wednesday is about today. It is so crazy how Republicans just believe Donald Trump. I mean, look at this insane thing he said tonight. What they've done is they've gone after opponents so that if you become president or some other job, but if you become president and you don't like somebody or if somebody's beating you by 10, 15 or 20 points like we're doing with crooked Joe Biden, let's indict the mother. <laughs> Oh my God. Like Donald Trump is trying to claim that since he's running for president, he's being indicted. And Republicans believe him. Did you hear that applause? They just mindlessly clap at anything he says. Like, Put a pause here's a here. I can't tell if this kid is being ironic and it's going to come out that he's a conservative and he's like, he's doing a parody of a lib or if he really, if he's really shocked and befuddled <laughs> that conservatives might believe that the uh, historic prosecution of the former president and opposition leader might might be somewhat political. Uh, keep going. Here's a thought, Republicans, and just hear me out for a second. Maybe Trump did it. You know, maybe he committed crimes. Maybe he's not being indicted because he's running for president. Maybe he actually did steal classified documents, which there's a lot of evidence to support. Maybe he did commit RICO in Georgia, which there's evidence to support. Maybe he <laughs> did enter into a criminal conspiracy to defraud the United States, which there's evidence to support. Maybe he just did it. Like, there's so much evidence against Donald Trump. And then Trump just says, no, it's political. Put and a pause there. Well, the argument, I mean, the RICO thing is so insane. That the first example he used is a great one. He says, maybe he did have the classified documents. Okay. First of all, he was the president of the United States. He had the authority to declassify at will. Whatever he wanted to. But second of all, the evidence that his prosecution would be political rather than merely criminal or legal is that Hillary Clinton, who had no authority to declassify documents at will, committed the very same crime in a more egregious way because she mishandled those classified documents and stored them on a home server that could be hacked and almost certainly was hacked by our enemies abroad. Unlike Trump, who only had physical copies that were locked in a closet which obviously could not be hacked by our enemies abroad. And Hillary was not prosecuted, even though the FBI, even though James Comey, recognized that what she did was deeply wrong and almost certainly illegal. And she wasn't prosecuted, and Trump is having the book thrown at him for, it, for a lesser version of the same crime that almost certainly is not even a crime because he was the president of the United States and not merely a secretary of state like Hillary. J right there in your first example, you've undercut your argument. And all these Republicans believe him. Like, do you know how much of a cult you have to be in to believe him when there's hundreds of pages of evidence against him? Do you know how insane you have to be to believe that guy? I guarantee that not a single person in that room or any MAGA Republican who says he's innocent has read the indictment. I'd put anything on it. I really would. You would be wise not to believe a single word that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth because that's a man with everything to lose. Of course he's gonna say whatever he has to say to keep himself out of prison. I guess he's missing the point which is he doesn't seem to understand what a political persecution is. I'm telling mother. Persecution, be it through prosecution or through any other means. A political prosecution in this case would, would not necessarily mean that the person didn't do anything wrong. When Stalin would have his show trials, it, it, wa it wasn't uh, the case that the people he brought up on show trials had not done anything wrong. It's that the charges were trumped up. When when uh, Vladimir Putin jails his political uh, opposition leader, Alex, uh, Alexei Navalny, it, it's not because Navalny has never done anything wrong. It's that the charges are trumped up and he's being selectively prosecuted. When Dinesh D'Souza was sent to that halfway house for giving a little extra money through his family members to his college friend, Wendy Long, who never had a snowball's chance in hell of winning the Senate seat in New York, it's not that he didn't do anything wrong. It's just that no one ever gets prosecuted for that unless you make the, the highest grossing documentary ever in history that so happens to be about the sitting U.S. president and then, and then the president's goons come after you and send you to jail. That's what that's about. So look, on some of these charges, on some of these accusations, Trump is obviously completely innocent. The Bergdorf Goodman department store rape story from the 1990s is obviously completely insane. On the issue of did he have classified documents, he, he obviously did have the classified documents. I'm not convinced that was a crime at all since he was the president. But yeah, he had that. The question is, why is he being prosecuted for it? You don't need to read the indictment to, even to know that or any of the many indictments against him. To, to ask that question, why is he being prosecuted for this when people who have committed much worse versions of the same crimes have not been? But these young men, they don't know. They don't know. 
they gotta they gotta grow older. They gotta take off their Anakin Skywalker shirts and you know put on put on the vestments of wisdom and education. 